Hello and welcome to day nine of my solve of this, the Exit the Game Advent Calendar, the hunt for the Golden Book. And each day I start by having a look at the scenario book that came with the calendar that tells you all about that day. I will discard the hints and solutions and hope I won't need them and turn straight to the 9th of December and tear out the page for today. Now, I have actually already read this. It says that you thought that where you were yesterday was primeval, but now this is even more primeval. You're in a cave. Fortunately, some light penetrates through a small opening in the rock allows you to see that there's a thick snow drift in front of the cave but there are mammoths there you think you can't believe it but you're not hallucinating obviously you've not only traveled in space to this room but also in time you're in the distant past but how is that possible right and there's a picture of i mean it's a cave i guess they're cave paintings you're seeing um, and there's a fire and four five six seven eight suns please turn the page on the back Ah, this is when the mammoths interrupt you. I've already read this, I should say. Um, at least you're safe inside the cave because they can't get in. In front of you on the ground, there is a small bowl filled with a red berry mush, possibly some kind of primeval pigment. Further investigation reveals stone tablets decorated with paintings. One of the walls also appears to be painted. Apparently, someone who was here before spent a lot of time observing the creatures outside. Not bad artwork at all. You wish you had that kind of talent. I feel like some kind of burn from the calendar writer. Anyway, odd that the colours to look so fresh, though. Open door nine, with which you will find a staggering eight riddle cards, H1 to H8. Now, last time, there were lots of riddle cards. I think there were seven. I had to cut one or two images out in every one. It took a long time. I'm hoping there's no cutting out today. But I will note that if there are eight suns and eight riddle cards, that may not be a coincidence. But um, last time I noticed there was a coincidence in the number of uh, colours on a, on a page and that had nothing to do with the puzzle at all, so who knows. Right, this is the calendar and let's find day nine. Right, where, did we, where, did we, where were we yesterday? Let's have a look. It is here. Right, door nine, the moment of truth. There we go. Oh, hello. There's a line across here. I wonder if that's significant. Look at these colours. I'm just wondering if these must be part of the puzzle. It's not a coincidence. It's not normally anything like this on the back of a door. Here's door one. Plain. Door five. Plain. Yeah, not plain. Okay. Lots of colours. And here are eight riddle cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there's eight. Look at those in a second. And here is our cave room with our mammoths. Okay. Right, now that's the view into the cave. And, and while it to an extent... The difficulty seeing the centre mammoth is because of the light attached to my camera. It's actually incredibly faint. If I move the light around, you can possibly see that it's barely there, so the light is barely affecting it. Um, so there are three mammoths that you can see on the right. Ah, oh, look. One, two, three. Okay, now each day we are looking for a three-digit code to put into a decoder. Let me wave the decoder under this part of the camera here. Um, there. And you are looking for a three-digit code to put in and reveal... Uh, where the next door is by following the arrows. So I'm guessing that usually when you see A, B, C, or one, two, three, or something, it's giving you each of the three digits. So one might be the number of mammoths, perhaps. There are three in the picture there for a start. Two, number of whatever those are, oxen. I don't know, some sort of bison or buffalo. And three, number of people with spears, maybe. Right, now on the floor, we see... Lots of red dots and the red paste that it referred to. And on the other wall, it's plain. Mind you, if, my thing, if I'm right about counting, then what are all these colours on this door for? And at the top, it appears to be just rocks. And I think it's time. Shall I leave that open now? It's going to be in the way. To see what's on these cards. All right. So H1. Oh. Okay. They're all. I'm just going to have a look. They're, they are. Oh, wow. Okay. So each of them has a sun lit up. So let's find that bit of paper from the room um, and different objects in the room, perhaps. So that's H7 and H8. I could obviously order these cards by the order of the sun. What is going on here? Okay. And H6 and H5. H4 and H3. H2 and H1, and I have decided I'm not counting, but I could be joining these and following their paths around the room. I mean, what else could it be? 
So this is going to be interesting because I'm going to start drawing on here. And if I'm wrong, I've got no way of fixing it um, without embarrassing myself. But anyway, in which case, what are the colours on the back of the door for? Maybe they are part of a puzzle for a different day. What is this line for? Mysteries. I like this calendar for many reasons. It's full of varied puzzles, but also mysteries. Mysteries are always fun, as long as they have a resolution at some point. What this is for, I do not know. Perhaps I will discover today, or perhaps I will discover another day. But for now, let us order these based on the position of the sun. So they're positioned in order of the sun. Now, where does the little man go? Do, do, do. This is looking plausible. The man is on a route that looks like it's going to be a three. The man has moved to three, hasn't he? Okay, so the man has made a three, and that can't be coincidence, can he? I will draw them on for the sake of um, being clear on the video. But I don't think it's really necessary. For the purposes of solving, at least. I think I put that previous man slightly in the wrong place, but there we go. This is the path of the man. So the man is clearly a three. That cannot be a chance coincidence. Right, now let's look at the mammoth. Here's the mammoth. He starts here, goes to here, and here, and here. Uh, I really should use a different colour pen, I'm already sensing. And to here, and to here, and to here, and to here. Okay, so despite my completely unneat drawing, the mammoth traced a six um, here. So I've got a three and a six. Now I may be able to go to you know the vast expense of having another colour for <laughs> for the other one. Right, there is no um, we're going to say bison on here. So bison here, here. Here, 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 here. I've forgotten the order here. Oh, it's a two, isn't it? Yeah, I've not done that neatly. I think I got the order on there. Hang on. That was typical. Not paying attention. Bison starts here. Okay, so yeah, I got the order wrong. So, we have a two. Right, so we have, as I've drawn very neatly, I'd like to think, we have mammoth is six, that's the bold black line. We have bison equals two, that's the thin breads, and we have man equals three. That's the one I did first in the thin black. So our code should be six, two, three. Okay, so let's put it into the decoder. Six, two, three. Three and we started off here. Now we need to move left. Sorry, it's off the sides, isn't it? Left, down, right, and right. And we should expect the code to match here. Circle, hexagon, circle, which it does, which means this is day 10, which will open tomorrow. Okay, colors not explained, maybe another day. I hope you will join me tomorrow. Maybe we'll find out about the colors, but I suspect it'll be later on the calendar. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do please join me. You can find my playlist here. This is the solves of calendars this year. I'm solving two other calendars. And by here, solves of three calendars, including a different Exit the Game calendar that I solved last year. And by here, you can subscribe to my channel. So please do, because it makes it easier to find my future videos. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, take care and bye.